is from the airport in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's not p.m. It's 2 a.m. in Raleigh, North Carolina. Made it through TSA. I have never been recognized so much in like the span of an hour. First of all, I was getting my bags checked and the lady who was working the baggage counter recognized me. And she was like, I literally subscribe to you and follow you on Instagram. And I was like, Oh my god, queen. Not only that, but my bag was overweight as always. And she goes, yeah, you're not getting charged for that. She was like, you need money for those 7-Eleven videos. I was like, <laughs> no fucking way did she say that. <laughs> so if you're watching, I love you. This girl was so sweet. She said hi to me in the TSA line. <laughs> she made her mom come up to me and her and her brother were like turned around. And then she came up to me. It was funny, okay? You had to be there. <laughs> Y'all, I made it to Minneapolis. As soon as I got on that plane, I was I was completely out for three hours, which sounds about right because I was up until 5.30. So now it's 8.14 and I'm running on three hours of sleep. As I was walking earlier, there was a woman going off about how the NBA is fake. <laughs> I don't know what she was talking about or what was going on, but she was really mad and she thought the NBA was fake. The first thing I did when I got here and landed, I saw Chick-fil-A immediately outside of my gate and I was like, yup, I'm gonna get it for the last time, like before I go back because I like Chick-fil-A's chicken minis that you can only get for breakfast and I didn't get to get them this trip. So I got them and I ate them in like literally two minutes. I'm so excited to get on this plane and hopefully I'm gonna sleep most of the plane ride. I do not want to be up for all of it and I want to go to bed really bad. <laughs> of like toothpaste and uh, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Also the food menu looks really good. And mind you, the seats are huge. I'm so excited to sit in the seat. I'm literally gonna take my shoes off, wear the slippers and just vibe like this whole flight. I got a whole TV over here. This is the life. Hi Minneapolis. Guess who's back in Japan? As you can recognize from my apartment. It feels so surreal to be back here. I got back last night. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. I feel like I have the opposite of jet lag. Like I went to bed at like 9.30 p.m. and woke up at six. I think I got pretty good sleep. I can't stop smiling because I feel like I'm just so happy to be back here. And like I walked out this morning and it just felt so surreal to be back here. And it's something that I just can't even explain in words, but in a good way. Like I'm so happy to be here right now. I do feel the slightest bit overwhelmed because I feel like I have a lot of things that I have to do Like I need to go and get a sim card for my phone because if you guys remember my phone got stolen in Paris And so I don't have my Japanese sim card on my phone and I need to go get a new one so I can like get into my bank app and stuff like that i still need to unpack i've unpacked like most of my stuff i think but not everything definitely not everything i do not have enough storage for my clothes like that's an issue that i've had since i lived here i need to get rid of a bunch of clothes like so many clothes i think being away from japan so long and away from most of my clothes like made me lose the attachment that i had to them so now like looking at them i'm like i went without that for like three months i do not need to like i don't need it <laughs> so i can just like go take it to modoff where i can like sell it or they'll just take it so i'm gonna try to do that on top of that this might be another video but i want to redecorate my entire apartment not entirely but a new dining table that's smaller i kind of want to get a new couch and i kind of just to like rearrange things a little bit make it more like homey although right now like it feels like really homey right now like i love the vibes of my apartment at the moment i just want to do some slight tweaking that i've been craving to do and i haven't been able to come back to japan to do it or do any measurements or anything i think about like furniture that i want to buy literally like every day but obviously i can't do that until i'm in japan but i'm back here now so i can do that last night when i got here noel my friend who was staying here watching my cat i talked with her for a little bit and i gave her her christmas gift i got her a nintendo switch her birthday's on christmas though so it's like a double gift and i felt like i i wanted to like splurge because she like also watched all day so she was very happy about that another thing i want to do there's these shoes 
just that I want to buy acne really, really bad. And I also want to get, there's so many things. I want to get Ramoa luggage because Ramoa has this like limited edition luggage at the moment that is so beautiful. But I don't know if I can justify the purchase because I'm like done traveling for right now. Like I don't know when I'm going to travel again anytime soon. So I don't know if it's like worth it, but I want the luggage so bad. Ramoa luggage is something that I've wanted to have for probably like two years now, um, but it's very expensive. And I told myself like, oh, if I ever get the money, like I, that's one thing that I will invest in because I love those suitcases. And also it makes me want to get them so much because I feel like everybody in Japan has them. Like at the airport yesterday, last night, every single person has Remoa luggage. And I'm like, how do y'all have the money for this? It's like a thousand dollars for one suitcase. Dote is doing really good. I'm actually, another thing I need to do is go to get him groomed because this man is so fluffy now. Like when I left him, he had did not have this much hair, but in winter he grows so much more hair. Oh my God, he's so cute. So I want to take him to the groomer. I found one in my neighborhood that I want to take him to. He did not recognize me at first when I came home, but now he does. And we he slept in my bed last night and cuddled with me and it was so cute and I missed him so much. Like the amount of happiness that I've had in the past like 12 hours, I think has topped the amount of happiness I've had in the past three months. So I think that says a lot. Clearly I'm very happy to be back in Japan. Oh my God, another reason I want to get him groomed is because his hair is still everywhere. While I was gone, I repeatedly kept wanting to move again, which I know sounds crazy. I moved like six months ago, but I have been wanting to move since I've been gone because I'm like, there is no storage in this apartment. I have one closet and that's it. Like I have nothing else to store anything. It's so hard to keep everything organized like that. So I was thinking about moving for a while, but now I'm kind of like, I'm kind of more interested in the idea of just like upgrading my apartment that I have rather than trying to move. So we're gonna try the best we can to like stay here because honestly, I don't wanna move. I love the location of my apartment. The rent is a really good price. And at the end of the day, like it's still a really nice apartment. I just kind of want like a little bit more space, but it's not worth like thousands of dollars to do that. I'm probably not gonna move anytime soon. I don't know, y'all know me though. Like I can be so manic and do some like crazy shit. So I could end up moving in like a month. <laughs> Last night, I was so exhausted when I got back. As soon as I got into the bed, I fell asleep like immediately. I think in the past 24 hours, I had like five hours of sleep in total. I like barely slept on the plane. Just the flight to Tokyo was 13 hours. So it was, it was rough y'all, but I'm here now. We need to get a little bit more organized. Dote, what are you doing? What are you doing? I swear, literally every time I open any of my suitcases, Dote has to go and sit inside of them and I can't stop him. Like no matter how many times I stop him, he just goes back. I'm trying to do like a closet clean out and I have like all of these shirts. I'm gonna donate like so many clothes. So I'm just taking everything out of my closet that I just do not wear and letting go of it and dealing with the emotions of that later. So I think I'm just gonna have to store more clothes upstairs, which I don't wanna do because there's already so many clothes up there on my loft. Eh, okay, we'll see what I can do. This is what we're working with. I'm cleaning out these drawers. I got these pretty organized, like my pants. It's literally still not enough room. Like I have way more pants than that. Y'all, I'm struggling. Wait, you guys, I kind of did something. Look at how organized I got this. Like I got my underwear, socks, t-shirts, pajamas, and then all of this stuff, <laughs> whatever that means. And I put all the clothes that I don't know what to do with in here, and I'm just gonna keep them stored in here for now. Oh, that's so much stuff. But at least I figured out what to do. So this is all my storage and clothing that I do not wear. And basically I need to get rid of all of it. <laughs> I'm just a little bit more organized now. Y'all, I'm checking all the mail that I've missed since I've been gone and it is a lot, especially the health insurance people. Like we have national health insurance in Japan, but like you still have to pay for it. It's not much, but you have to pay for it. The forms that they send for it are so confusing. Like I never know how much I owe. And sometimes I'll like miss a month and then they'll send me like another letter, but it'll just be for like the next month. And then they don't tell me that like last month is due. So I'm like, I don't even know how much money I owe them at this point. Probably a lot. It's so confusing and obviously the forms are not in English so it's really difficult to understand. Yeah, I have one bill that says I owe 18,000 yen and then another bill says I owe like 4,000 yen so I don't know what it is but I have literally like 20 envelopes that I have to go through. Japan loves their paperwork. Y'all, 
I gotta have my residence card and my passport. So I'm going back to my house and then going back and then she can give me the SIM card. Let's go get the SIM card. I'm getting so impatient because this is taking so much longer than I thought it would. How long does it take to get a SIM card? I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes just waiting. Y'all, I finally got the SIM card. Oh my God, y'all don't realize how big of a burden that was on me and I'm finally done with it. Like it's out of the way. So I'm gonna celebrate by going to Sukiya. I've actually never had Sukiya, which is like so strange because it's such a popular restaurant in Japan. But we're going today for the first time because for some reason I'm craving something that I've never even had before. Here she is. Let's go. I'm gonna get the gudon with three cheese. Ooh, chili garlic flakes. Order. Y'all, I'm afraid this looks so good. This could very easily become my new favorite place. Y'all, I fucked up. There's already rice in here, and I ordered more rice, so I have so much rice that I have to eat. We are going to try something. So what I'm trying to do, well, you can see what I'm trying to do, <laughs> but I wanted to see how my couch looked against this wall because I think it opens up the space like a lot more because obviously it used to be like this and it kind of cut off the space. So this opens my apartment up a lot. It makes it look a lot bigger. However, there's a problem with this. The TV has nowhere to go. Like if I want to watch TV from the couch, what are you doing? The TV has to go here, but the TV doesn't fit there because the ladder is in the way. The TV's too big. So I'm like, how can I even and set the TV up to go here. I think this is the biggest problem that I've had in my apartment since I moved in. Like the layout is so difficult to work with. Having like this big couch, it just makes me want to get a new couch entirely. Like a smaller one, but I love my couch. I like this layout though. Obviously not the TV right there. Wait, I might be onto something. Does that make sense? This weird slot to go around to get up my ladder makes me feel weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I like this, but I don't wanna move it back. I like how this fits almost perfectly with the door completely open. There's more space there. Dote, what do you think? I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and I want you guys to tell me what you think if you like the old way better or this way. I might just get a new couch entirely. I don't know yet. We shall see. <laughs> for months, actually probably years. I've been eyeing those shoes and I finally wanted to go and get them. I tried them on and I was like, I don't like these as much as I thought I did. So I told her I might come back and I'm gonna think about it. But it's honestly really sad if I don't like them that much because I was looking forward to getting them so much. <laughs>
bitches. I'm back home and I want to give you guys a haul of what I got. I'm honestly really excited and normally I feel really bad after I go shopping, but I don't even feel bad right now. Like I love this stuff too much and I'm really happy about it, okay? There's this mall in Harajuku called La Fere. I've never thoroughly looked through that mall before, but it was like seven floors and I went to like every single store and I found this store with the sweaters that I showed you guys earlier. I got these two colors. I'm not gonna take them out because y'all saw them earlier. I don't need to. They were only like $60 each. So I was like, period. And they're so cute and really good colorways that I feel like I can wear with a lot of stuff. I was about to say, I feel like I need more sweaters, but I literally don't. <laughs> I actually don't need any more clothes, so. But also I didn't end up buying the acne shoes that I was gonna get. And those are pretty expensive. And all of this was way less than what I would have spent on the acne shoes. And then I did go to Vivian Westwood Red Label, which since I moved to Japan, I've dreamed about purchasing something from this store. And when I was there, I finally caved and I bought the sweater that I tried on because I could not resist. One thing about me, if I try it on and I like it, there's no resisting. I can't say no, but I thought, I feel like a lot of people are not gonna like this, but this sweater is such a good fit on me and I love anything with a cat on it. I don't know why. I definitely think that cats are my favorite animal, hence why I literally have one. I'm really excited about this. This might be one of my like favorite purchases of the year and I think I'm gonna get good wear out of this. But that's my haul. Honestly, I was out for so long, like very many hours and I went to multiple different stores and that's all I got. So it's fair to say that I resisted a lot of stuff. However, I am considering buying that couch that I saw earlier. It is pretty expensive, but honestly, I feel like I need a new couch because this one is getting really torn up because Dote has scratched all over it. He might do to another one, but it's, maybe I can prevent that from happening. I do love this couch though, but it's ginormous. It's actually huge, so it's hard to to manage in my apartment. This new couch is a little bit smaller, so I feel like I could fit it a lot better and it would look nicer. Um, so I might place an order online for that, but I'm still thinking about it because again, it's pretty expensive and I feel like I'm just dishing out money every single day. But after being out all day, I am so tired at this point. Yup. Y'all, I stumbled upon Muji. They actually have a pretty good couch selection. Like these are kind of giving. I honestly really like this one and it's really comfortable too. And it's a lot cheaper than the previous one by a lot. I kind of like this one, but it looks like it's kind of worn down over time. And I feel like this one's too small compared to that one. Oh, they got blankets on sale. Oh wait, no, this is a rug and a duvet. TVH, I love Muji. <gasps> Y'all, look at this duvet cover. I want it. I want this duvet cover so bad. Where is it? Is this it? Oh my God, semi-double. Oh my god, yeah, I'm getting this. Wait, ugh, now I need the pillowcases too. Okay, I need two of the 43 by 63. And then I also have another pillow, like a third one that's just alone. So I'm gonna get this color because it looks good over here with this. Y'all, I really wanted this duvet because it's so fluffy and thick. The price though, this is $500. I will gladly work with the one I have now. Y'all already know what time it is. It's Ikea food time. Y'all, look, they have cute little like Christmas desserts. I just ate up that Ikea so good. Got my Muji bag. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, I want to see if there's Adidas Sambas around here because I want those shoes really bad. So we're going to look for them. Shut up, elevator. As soon as I walk outside, boom. I don't really like these though. Oh, now we are talking. There's a lot of options here. Wait, I don't know if I like any of these stuff. I think I hate literally all of those shoes, so I'm leaving. Yeah, there's so many options here. I like this combination, and I also like this one. This one has a cute little like mark on it. I think these are like special edition. Wait, these are kind of cute too. I really like these. I don't know if you guys know, I'm gonna make a podcast episode about this, but around a week ago when I was back home, my grandmother unexpectedly passed away and I was very close with my grandmother. She was literally a parent to me. So it was definitely really hard and I like attended her funeral. What I'm really happy about is that I was home. So I was able to like, first of all, be there, but also we have so many family photos from when I was a kid. So I have a lot of photos of her and some of her and me. And I took one or two of them home to Japan with me 
me. So while I was at Loft, I bought a frame because I have a photo that I want to put in it. Honestly, this is like really hard for me to talk about. So it's definitely going to be really hard to make a podcast episode about this, especially because it's like still so fresh. But I wanted to share with you guys the photo that I'm going to put in here. Oh, perfect. I have two of them. I have photos. These are of my grandmother holding me the day I was born. I just think it's like the sweetest photo ever. Oh my God. I'm, I'm going to try not to cry. I'm just going to put this in the, in the thing. Okay, perfect. The size is literally perfect, but I wanted to make sure that I did not lose these photos and to do that, you need to do something with them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy a frame and I'm normally not a person to buy photo frames, but the occasion calls for it. <laughs> Oh, this makes me really sad, but happy at the same time. This is really bittersweet. I love this photo so much. Okay, on a lighter note, let's set up my bed. <laughs> if you're gonna ask me, Ryan, are you gonna wash these before putting them on your bed? The answer is no, and I don't wanna hear anything about it. I'm just that type of person, okay? I've had these same bed sheets since I moved into this apartment, and I've been wanting to change them up for a minute now. So I finally got around to doing that after I saw this. I've been loving plaid lately, and I feel like it being winter and everything, like it just calls for everything to be plaid. So I'm excited to try these. They're also like really soft. So I definitely recommend Muji duvet covers. I do love this one too though. This is like green stripes from Ikea and I've loved it since the day I got it, but I just want to change it up. I don't even hate the duvet cover. I just want to switch up. It's giving Christian girl autumn. I love her. Oh, the pillowcases look so good. Like everything matches, finally. <laughs> Okay, I've decided I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. It's been pretty long, but they look. Thank you for watching. Y'all know what to do, like, subscribe, whatever. If you wanna watch my new podcast, the link is in the description. As always, I love you so much, Mwah. bye.